Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre has actioned immediate anti-crime measures to support ongoing tactical efforts by the Royal St. Lucia Police Force to suppress a recent flare-up of gang-related criminal activity in Bruceville, V4. And right now, we are taking immediate measures to stop it now. Short-term measures. What are these measures? We are bringing the RSS to help us on the ground to deal that issue. Two, we are further enhancing what the, 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 the we are further enhancing the facilities for the police in terms of vehicles, in terms of numbers. Three, we are going to Parliament with emergency legislation to give the police emergency powers to suppress crime. Four, we are, whilst we are doing that, we are trying to see if we, can, if we can improve the morale of the police, trying to see if we can deal with other issues, um, with technology, scanners, drones, etc. And finally, we are enhancing our social programs for, the, for these areas. The Prime Minister delivered an address to the nation on March 11th, 2023. He reassured the VA4 community and St. Lucia of his government's commitment to maintaining law and order throughout the island and also outlined some of the measures taken to extract offenders from St. Lucia's peace-loving neighborhoods and communities. We are taking charge of the situation. We will succeed. We will build a safe and more secure society. We must fight these criminal networks called gangs and encourage our young people to reject their lifestyles. Especially in times of tragedy, we must come together as a nation. We must support one another and work together to prevent future acts of violence. We will not let fear, envy and hatred divide us. We will stand together as St. Lucians and work towards a brighter future for all. In recent months, the Prime Minister has facilitated additional assistance from friendly governments, namely the French and the United States, and also from the regional security system to bolster operational and tactical capacity within the ranks of the Royal Senusha Police Force. From the Office of the Prime Minister, Rihani Isidore.